Don Ryder, who ran a projector in a small theater in Deer Park, Washington in the 1950s, was charged with cleaning out a room that contained a 35mm nitrocellulose film. Instead of disposing of it, he brought it home where he stored it for over 50 years. After joining his local historical society, he donated it to the society who had it digitized by Alpha Sign of Seattle, Washington. The Clayton Deer Park Historical Society presents the Arcadia Orchards film. The film was intended to entice investors into purchasing tracts of land in Deer Park, Washington to grow apples. It opens looking under the old steel Monroe Street Bridge at the Spokane River demonstrating a powerful water source and potential hydroelectric supply. The next shot shows off downtown Spokane traveling east on Riverside Avenue from Monroe Street. Note the federal courthouse and post office on the left. The orchard was begun by Spokane Mayor Floyd Daggett and his brother-in-law John McIntyre in 1905 or 1906. The film was shot in approximately 1910 or 1911 and this scene is to show off Spokane as a hub of activity. At the intersection of Riverside and Howard, we turn south for a few blocks, heading to the Arcadia Orchard Company's Spokane office. Here we see a large group of investors and dignitaries gathering for the 25 mile train ride north to Deer Park to inspect the orchards. The concept was to convert cheap land that had been cut over by the Deer Park Lumber Company to irrigated apple orchards with 5 or 10 acre tracks to be sold as self-sustaining orchards to people who wanted land. The train station is located at that time just north of Crawford Street in Deer Park where the passengers unload and transfer to cars for the final leg of their journey to inspect the orchards.
It isn't known if the group actually witnessed any of these scenes of clearing and preparing the land. Most likely, they were staged for the promotional film. One of the major selling features of the orchards and an impressive engineering feat was that irrigation water was to be supplied to the land via flumes that took water out of Loon Lake in southern Stevens County and gravity flowed all the way to the orchards. Here the film shows a section of flume that was used to transport water from Loon Lake. Here's a panoramic shot showing young apple trees in the orchard. Notice the flume and imagine the engineering that had to go in to building it all to keep the gravity flow to supply the water.
these scenes of picking and hauling apples were most likely filmed in another orchard in another part of the state, as it would take several years for the trees to mature enough to bear fruit in Deer Park. The investor, however, could envision how well his money would be spent. The Arcadia Orchard flourished from 1906 to the years following World War I. The company began to fail when it did not pay the Netherlands America Mortgage Company interest or principal in 1914 on money borrowed much earlier to start the company. Many people bought orchard tracks on the premise that their orchard could soon be self-sustaining, but when the tracks failed to do so, many owners lost all of their investment and repossessions. Damaging frosts, shortage of railroad cars, high salaries for executives and infrastructure investments, uncompetitive apple varieties, and the recession after World War I all contributed to the failure of this orchard venture by 1925. This scene, filmed at the Spokane Harvester Company, seems out of place in this film, other than the fact that there was wheat that was grown as a side crop to the orchards. This could have been to demonstrate their equipment. It's unknown the original length of this film, as it was damaged following this scene and couldn't be saved. For more information on the Arcadia Orchard and other historical facts about the Clayton Deer Park area, please visit the Clayton Deer Park Historical Society and click on Publications and read our monthly magazine, The Mortarboard at www.cdphs.org.